Hi, my name is Bjorn and this is a video tutorial showing um, the basics of simulation with Yeti uh, and as you can see I have a Yeti node and a Groom node and this is the tree uh, where I have the Groom plugged into the these <laughs> and um, yeah so how do I simulate this? Well select your Groom and go to simulation and click the checkbox. There you go, now it's simulated. As for extra details, uh, iterations for instance, if you set it to one, it's going to do one calculation per frame. If you set it to more, it's going to do more calculations per frame. This uh, number should be okay. It's a real world number for real world gravity, but you can make it, change it if your scale is different or something. Uh, then we have these values which uh, rest influence for instance controls how much is the um, is the neutral pose going to influence the simulation so if I played right now the hair is not influenced very much by the groom that I made you know I want him to have that kind of hairstyle and then there's collision objects one thing that you might have noticed from this uh, previous um, play that I just went through is that the hair went through his head. So I'm just going to add the geometry that is uh, Esom. And now when I play this, the hair stays on top of the head. It doesn't go through when he goes back up. It's still really crazy because my settings in the render is, uh, are stupid. Now, when you add uh, your object, usually it adds two items. And if you have that, look what happens. It's fire or something. I don't know. So just make sure you have um, not the geo shape original, but only one element for um, for one collision object. Also worth knowing is you can put keys on your um, simulation values. So if something's working fine from say frame one to thirty, and it's not from thirty to forty, and then onwards, it's fine again. You can key that the, for instance, rest influence should be higher during that problem area and then you can key it back to normal once it's done with the problems and, you know. And that's it for now. So go have fun with that and, uh, and feel free to check out my homepage and look for more tutorials on Yeti. And I might do tutorials for other things um, in the future if I feel it's relevant. Or you can let me know.